Good morning. Welcome to St. Francis Episcopal Church for Morning Prayer Thursday, March 17th, the commemoration of St. Patrick of Ireland, Slantia. God of Revelation, unveil your kingdom in our midst. Show us who we truly are in you. Expose the illusions that distort our vision. Deliver us from temptations that contort our living. Open our eyes in this time of trial that resistance may be the secret of our joy, and our joy a sign of your peace. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and repents of evil. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence! O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary! Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder, and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness, and the peoples with his truth. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter to the Thessalonians. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain, but though we had already suffered and been shamefully maltreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God, who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us, and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labor we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy heal us. In your love and tenderness remake us. In your compassion bring grace and forgiveness 
For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed Blessed be be the Lord, Lord, the God God of Israel. He has has come come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in the sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness, and the the shadow shadow of death, and and to guide our feet into the way of peace. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again, He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who in your providence chose your servant Patrick to be the apostle of the Irish people, to bring those who were wandering in darkness and error to the true light and knowledge of you. Grant us so to walk in that way, that we may come at last to the light of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Grant us, Lord God, a vision of your world as your love would have it, a world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor a world where the riches of creation are shared and everyone can enjoy them, a world where different races and cultures live in harmony and mutual respect, a world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. Give us the inspiration and courage to build it through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Creating and renewing God In this Lenten season, we each need the opportunity to clear our eyes of the glaze of indifference and apathy. Help us get our minds off distractions, obsessions, and self-pity so that we don't feel helpless. Help us to start over. Reorient head and heart so that we may fill our whole selves with life-affirming activities and thoughts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to God who alone makes us dwell in safety. For all who are affected by coronavirus, 
through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. For doctors, nurses, and medical researchers, that through their skill and insight, many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, accept these, these prayers for the sake of your Son, our, our Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Fast from judging others. Feast on Christ dwelling within. Fast from fear of illness. Feast on the healing power of God. Fast from words that pollute. Feast on speech that purifies. Fast from discontent. Feast on gratitude. Fast from anger. Feast on patience. Fast from pessimism. Feast on hope. Fast from negatives. Feast on encouragement. Fast from bitterness. Feast on forgiveness. Fast from self-concern. Feast on compassion. Fast from suspicion. Feast on truth. Fast from gossip. Feast on purposeful silence. Fast from problems that overwhelm. Feast on prayer that sustains. Fast from anxiety. Feast on faith. Mindful of your mercy, forgiveness, and instruction, O God, we go into the world renewed, refreshed, and full of courage to be your people. We go in peace to work for justice. Amen.